Welcome one and all to the second episode of Dragon Ball Head Scratchers. This is a series where I'm going to be discussing questionable things from the Dragon Ball franchise in all its various forms and trying to present both a in and out of universe explanation for why these things have happened and a solution to them. And today I'm going to be dealing with one not many people are going to know because it comes from the original Dragon Ball era, as in the first few arcs of the series. So people who have only seen the Z stuff and who haven't seen Dragon Ball ever or who haven't uh, seen it in a long time probably aren't even going to know what the hell I'm talking about. And the topic today, as you can see from the title, of course, is Goku's Age. And the reason why Goku's Age is weird is due to a particular instance at the very beginning of the Red Ribbon Army saga. But to give you guys a little context, the first time Goku is introduced, Bulma asks him how old he is. And the very panel you see I'm using as the thumbnail for this video shows you that he tells her that he's 14. Now, obviously, Goku looks like he's 8 or 9 given, you know, our own human standards, and he doesn't look anywhere near a standard 14-year-old. And this is years and years and years before Goku was established as a Saiyan, and the whole fact that the Saiyans retained their youth longer so they could fight longer is introduced. This is a long, long time before any of that happens. This is back when Akira Toriyama intended for this to be a short manga that was going to be done in a few chapters, and he had absolutely no plans to continue it past that when he gave us Goku's first age. Then in the 22nd Budokai, not not the 22nd, sorry, the 21st Budokai Tenkaichi tournament, the announcer does an interview with Goku and Krillin, and he asks Goku how old he is. Goku, to the shock of everybody, tells them that he's actually 12, and when he asks for an explanation for that, he says that he is so bad at numbers that he thought that 14 came after 11, and so that's why he told everybody he was 14. A retcon, yes, but not an implausible one, and since Goku's already established to be kind of a dumbass when it comes to numbers and stuff, and to generally a lot of things, uh, even before that, besides numbers, it's not really implausible to see why he screwed that up. And for the most part, everybody just says that for the remainder of the 21st Budokai Tenkaichi, the Red Ribbon, and the Uranai Baba sagas, he is 12, then he's 15 when he shows up back for the 22nd Budokai Tenkaichi, and when he fights the original King Piccolo, and then he's 18 when he fights uh, Piccolo Jr., and so on and so on. But the problem with this is that, that the end, at the end of the very first arc of Dragon Ball, the hunt for the Dragon Balls arc, Bulma states that after the Dragon Balls are used, which they are, uh, that they turn to stone for an entire year, and they're basically just rocks. Like, you can't find them, you can't use the Dragon Radar to detect their energy because they have no energy. It takes them a whole year to recharge before they can be uh, caught up, before they can be gathered once again and used for another wish. The problem with this is that between that time and the Red Ribbon Army Saga's start, only eight, mon eight months pass. So that already is a pretty big plot hole. And before you guys tell me, oh, no, no, Ivan, that's not a plot hole. A plot hole is when something in the story is stated as a fact and rule, and then the story blatantly contradicts it and, pre and pretends that the new rule was always the rule, as if the old one was never even stated. For example, imagine that there exists a universe about smoking, and if you smoke 50 cigarettes, your brain's going to explode and you're going to die. And for the first couple of arcs, <laughs> let's say, that is an established rule, and then the writer just decides, nah, 50 is too limiting, I gotta make it like 100. And then from that point on, everybody acts like 100 was always the limit from the start, even though it wasn't, and we, and we the readers, know it wasn't. And that's, and this is pretty much the only time that I can think of where the whole Dragon Ball rule was really, really broken. In every preceding time, when they mention talking, uh, when they mention using the Dragon Balls, I should say, they always treat the one-year thing as a concrete rule. And this is really the first time that got broken. And I really can't name any other instances where they just blatantly ignore it like they do here. And you can't even kind of hand wave it away by saying, oh, well, Goku spent a couple months in the wilderness and then he went to, you know, track down the Dragon Balls once he figured enough time had passed. Because at the very end of the f 21st Budokai Tenkaichi arc, Goku gets Kintone, or Nimbus. He flies off into the night sky and then the next chapter begins him sleeping on Nimbus and saying, oh, wow, it's already morning. And then he tracks down the Dragon Ball after only eight months. And you have to figure, okay, 
this is wrong. The whole eight months thing is wrong. Okay, so let's just ignore the eight months thing and just say a year has passed and Goku is 13 now. The problem with that is that all the official information keeps saying he's 12. He, they say that he's 12 up until the end of the Uranai Baba saga, that he is 15 when he fights Ten Shinhan and King Piccolo, and then he's 18 when he, fit, when he fights Piccolo Jr. and becomes the, officially the strongest guy on the planet. And that just, do you see why these things don't work together? You know, if, if a year has passed, Goku should be 13. And there are three camps of thought when it comes to this. There are the people who stick to the official guideline, regardless of the fact that it breaks the whole rule about the Dragon Balls, who just say Goku's 12, then he's 15, then he's 18, and then it goes on and on and on into the Z stuff. Then there's a group of people, wh which, which I usually subscribe to, who just pretend like uh, that Goku spent a couple months in the wilderness that we don't see in the manga, and even though the manga still kind of breaks this whole theory of ours, we just say Goku's 13 when he fights the Red Ribbon Army, then he's 16, and then he's 19, and then he's 24 when Raditz shows up. And then there's a third group of people who are, of course, kind of in the middle about this, who say that Goku is almost 13, or he's almost 15 later on, and then he's almost 19. And a lot of people subscribe to that one as well, but obviously there are various reasonings for why people think this way. There's some people who just stick to the official material because the official material is the word of God, and the word of God must be obeyed, or you're a blasphemous heretic or whatever. Uh, there are people who just, like me, listen to the official material only when it makes sense with the core storyline. And if the official material that's supplemental to the, official, to the manga ignores stuff in the core series itself, we just tend to ignore it. And there are other examples where I do this as well. A prominent example is the Cell Saga one, which I'm going to make a video about later on probably. But anyway, yeah, I subscribe to the idea that Goku is 13 when the Red Ribbon Army saga begins. And I stick to that appropriate age for him later on. There are other people who think differently than me, of course. But there really is no real clear-cut answer. There's no real clear-cut explanation for why uh, this happened. Uh, of course, the Dragon Ball thing can just be explained away because Toriyama is a very short-sighted writer. He makes a lot of knee-jerk reaction type revelations and plot developments that have that are absolutely not seeded beforehand of course he has had instances where he has thought ahead like when he decided that piccolo and kami were going to be aliens as early as the piccolo jr saga and there are a couple more instances before that but for the most part he's just a writer who kind of wings it and continuity and rules be damned so that's i think that's a pretty good explanation for why he just forgot about the one year rule thing um, another interesting thing about ages is that Gohan's age is also kind of messed up, except Gohan's is a lot less noticeable. When Gohan is introduced, he tells everybody this, that he's three years old, and in the very next chapter afterward, uh, Toriyama makes him four, and all the official stuff after that, the dubs, uh, the, ver the two types of English dubs, all the supplemental material after that, they all state that Gohan is four at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, when he was actually intended to be three, but this is a lot more obscure, it's a lot less noticeable than the Goku one, and it's an interesting thing that both father and son kind of have this weird thing going on with their ages. You know, there's some people who still stick to the very first age range, where he is three throughout the Saiyan Saga, and then four at the end. There's some people who accept the new one because it's the one that's used more. Various camps, just like the Goku thing. So, yeah, there really isn't any in-universe explanation for this. It, it really is just a question of which do you prefer, which do you hold as better, I suppose, to your own personal tastes. And as for out-universe, uh, as for, you know, why this was a creative decision made, it can basically be summed up as Toriyama doesn't give a shit, he just does what he wants, continuity be damned, and that's really the only thing I can say about that. And before you tell me that I'm just copying out by calling him lazy, he has blatantly admitted himself that he is not a guy who thinks forward. He's a guy who just has kind of an idea, then he just makes it up as he goes along. And this this creates actually a lot fewer problems than you would think it does. There are a lot of series that try to do this exact same thing, but they usually just completely break themselves. Dragon Ball has a pretty good track record with holding its own internal consistency for the most part, despite the kind of writer Toriyama is, until the Cell Saga completely fucks it all in the ass, and it never really fixes itself after, after the fact. But that's a whole other video for a whole other day. 
So, yeah, where do you guys stand on this whole Goku issue thing? Did you even know about it before I made a whole video about it? Where do you stand? Do you think he's 12? Do you think he's 13? Which do you hold as the higher canon or whatever the fuck? So, yeah, please tell me what you think down in the description below, and I'll hopefully see you for the next video where I'm going to be talking about Vegeta learning how to sense Ki, which actually has a lot of evidence to support it despite all the people saying that it doesn't. So hopefully you'll join me back for that one, and I'll see you later. Bye.